car out the way. They've already taken Nespetti's car out the way on the opposite side of the circuit. But just look at the marshal. We now will have, for the first time ever on television, a flying marshal. I don't think he meant to fly, but still, these Italian marshals uh, can do almost anything. I think he got a bit upset there, to be brutally frank. Then all of a sudden this guy comes across the track and I swerve right to miss him, but then I have to slow the car down because I'm in pit lane, which is unfortunate and I almost hit mechanics, but I made it through okay and my Skip Barber car held up like a champ. And now look at this, side by side into the final corner, Nikolai Moller-Matson coming together with the 22 uh, Nissan and there's Owen oh, Moller-Matson runs wide and spins, 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 look at him go. That slicks on a wet track for you, goodness me. That must be a world record of pirouettes. Boiled his chances of, we have a, do we have a I full said, I just heard then, I just heard someone go off. And it looks as though Schwantz is, Kevin Schwantz has gone from second position. Kevin Schwantz goes down at Redgate. Kevin Schwantz is out of the race at Redgate, God, he's not happy. They're just struggling to get the bikes out of the way. And uh, there's a few, um, you can't see what's going on on track. Fogarty's unhappy as well, a few cheers. And what's going on? Kevin Schwantz has taken the marshal's flag. Work out what had happened, but at the moment he's, they're actually, he's given them the, he's given them the, g'day mate, how you going? And I don't think it was appreciated. What, no. are they mates or not now? I'm not sure how that one ended, right. to be honest. So watch his right hand. He's up alongside. Keep in mind, this is practice for this morning. G'day mate, how you going? Horribly wrong. I think they were just having a bit of fun and it went horribly long. And there's enough damage there. Be in the middle of the pack for both races. Very good lap from uh, from Katzberg. Tommy, the last time you did that, you spun. Do not do that on the Nordschleifer. There must be some kind of FIA fine for that, surely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And Hugo Valente. 13th position, the end result of his qualifying, I'm afraid. They're point four apart, so... Uh, oh, it's torrential at the top of the yeah. mountain and there's nowhere. And Gisberg has lost the front end of the Porsche. He somehow gets it back. He's working the steering wheel. Those big wheels oh, are well. not clearing the water at all. And now it's Aquaplane City up yep. there. It's side by side at about 40 k's for a position. And Van Gisberg is going to unlap himself so, at literally 45 k's over the top of the mountain. It's the slowest pass for position we've ever seen here. And it's remarkable stuff. The Porsche with a little bit more grip at the back, of course, but that... The bollard... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> As it's being replaced. <laughs> How'd you like to see a V8? Fairly similar reaction times. Oh, oh both gone up. Supercharger off for Lamartina, and it's a crawl. <laughs> oh, no. The Flintstones are on. <laughs> crawl, crawl, crawl. Dobbs it. <laughs> Dobbs it. <laughs> <laughs> How did he do it? And look at the margin of victory. Oh, it's a boy. thousandth. In fact, it's 16 thousandths of a second. You're kidding me. Oh, no. This is the cruelest of ways to bow out of a championship. Oh, that's a massive detonation. We're talking about those Jamie Noonan heads. They might be obliterated. Now, both guys just clutching. Roll it, roll it, roll it. Who's going to get there? Zobs and somehow both cars literally rolling down that hill we are talking about. Like a hill trolley race. Oh taking the opportunity to get some fuel. Now we're on board with the Alfa Romeo and this is, this is on Conrad Strait. That's What's a that? tree across the road and the track is completely blocked. Now, I've seen kangaroos on the road. I've seen horses. I've seen all sorts of things at Bathurst, but this takes the cake. <laughs> there is a tree on Conrad. Well, we've, before my time, I've heard about a rock coming on the track, but uh, this is incredible. I've never. That's a huge tree. What are they going to do here? That's at the kink on Conrod Strait from the driver's left. It's doing it stopped on Conrod Strait as the whole field now has been stopped at the top of the mountain while this cleanup goes. I've been a huge fan of the wood chopping and chainsawing at the Royal Show over the years, but I've never thought I'd see it at Mount Panorama. Amazing. Strange, strange day at Mount Panorama. The road is being cleared. The cars are stopped at the top of the mountain. 
He'll wave. Yeah, well done. Nice sportsmanship also there for Shane. And he knows also from so many of them. He's going to get picked up. Look at this. this look at this. This is Uber. <laughs> Uber monster. <laughs> so <laughs> Cam Waters picks up Shane Van Gisbergen. Drags him back. So nice work. Cam Waters first time. He's doing gears. He's doing gears for him. First time on the podium for Cam <laughs> since New Zealand. You do that. I'll do the gears. You do the steering. Here comes Verline out of the final zero. corner. Is it zero. zero. Degrassi wins. The way, flat all the way. Degrassi wins. Shirley De Costa is second. And Shirley Mortara is third. What a mad end to the Mexico City E Prix. He drops him to six or disqualifies him. We'll have to wait and see. That was so <laughs> close to having the same incident that Nelson Piquet had. Yeah. Right. And the chequered flag waiting for him as Bjorn Wernheim comes down towards the chequered flag. In fact, slows by his pit. He slowed too early. There's the chequered flag. I can't believe that. He slowed as he was approaching the chequered flag. I'm not sure if the teams and the pits could see that and if they realise what's happened, but I think Nicholas Chiesa has won the race. It's just dawning on Christian Horner, and that is uh, Bjorn Wernheim's father in the pink shirt. And now the Denblar Avis team have realised their man... Nick He's in a red flag, a school bus somehow getting out onto the course. The first graders late for recess, I guess just when you think you've seen it all. Before the pack descend, it's a bit of a tense situation, but the race, I think, is going to start anyway. Let's see. Engine notes rise, the lights go out, we do get a start. There, look, a situation that is not exactly ideal at the start of a race. Far from it, because all of a sudden, on the first lap of a race, you find a recovery vehicle, which is the most extraordinary sight at the first lap. But the officials have done their best to get the car out of the way in time, and the race leaders descend now upon Stoke Corner. For Isn't he? Yeah, he is. Yes. Q more laughter in the pit lane as Jack Miller again doesn't sort out turn six, uh, 14 and 15. I must. I'll be really honest. I'll, I'll, they, yeah, they've got, <laughs> come in, come, come in, in, so we can tell you <laughs> the, the, the correct way to go. <laughs> yeah, that white line there is where you oh, should be going. You should be going right now. And this is where the Formula One cars go, yeah. and where they went last year when the track was changed overnight, didn't it? And he goes into that corner first, and coming through well oh. on the inside, that is Randy Krumenacker who's gone down. It's Krumenacker who crashed out and took Mark Marquez with him. Oh, Randy Krumenacker took out the championship I, leader. We, we haven't seen how he went down. Hannes no. went down as well, as Ian said. And look at that, he's absolutely furious. And can you blame him, 17 years of age, and that's sheer frustration.